Hey Martin, this is Larry Powell with Top Shelf Rankings. Uh, I just wanted to get this quick video over to you outlining how you can generate more leads for your business by utilizing your website in Google. Um, so, you know, there's a couple different things we're going to talk about in this. I like to call them the big three, and that's content, backlinks, and citations. We're going to go over what those three things mean and how they can make a big difference in your business. So first off, um, I looked at your site already. It looks really nice. Um, I love that you have the Google reviews here, all your social profiles. Uh, I really like that you have your contact form up here at the top. Whenever I build a website, I always put a contact form at the top because you want it to be easy for people to you know, get a hold of your business and not have to search around. So that's fantastic. Um, the biggest thing I noticed is a problem on your website is the amount of content you have on this homepage. Um, you know, Google's really looking for 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on this homepage. If you look at the top ranked sites, uh, most of the time, that's what you're going to see is that 1,500 to 2,000 words, unless it's just horrible competition, nobody else is doing anything, then sometimes you can get away with doing less when it comes to content. Um, but really, people, when people are searching for, you know, painters in Fresno, which is one of the search terms we're going to look at today, Google wants to put the websites up there. They're going to have the best information related to Painters Fresno. And so by putting that 1,500 to 2,000 words of content in there, then also making sure that you have the search terms you want to be found for in that content, that will then help you rank in Google for that search term. Because if you don't have that in your content, Google doesn't know as that, that as being something that you are offering. And so you might not be pulled up in the search results for that search term. Okay. Um, so adding content is definitely the big thing here, but overall your site does look really nice. I would just increase the amount of content you have on here um, to really optimize for Google search. Okay. Um, so I already mentioned this once. So painters Fresno is a search term we're going to be looking at today. Um, what's interesting about this search term is actually, let me go back to page one here. Um, so this search term is getting 450 searches per month. Um, overall for people searching for painters Fresno. So having your business in this top spot organically, um, you'll get about 33% of that search traffic headed towards your website. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. Um, as we're going through Google search results here, we can see these are all paid ads. So this is people paying Google to have their website up here at the top, right? So you have Angie's List, Davison Painting, Oregon, that's just pulling up a local site for me. Um, but then Home Advisor, right? And then you have the um, GMBs or Google My Business page. There's a couple different ways you can get your business into the GMB. Number one being citations. Citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on directory websites like um, Yellow Pages or Yellow Book, um, Yelp Pages, Facebook Pages. These are all free directory sites where you can list this information. Um, the goal here is to have more citations than what your competitors have. Another big factor is your organic rankings. So where your business sits organically in these search results can also play a lot of weight. And if you're going to be in these search results, currently you guys are sitting at 35th for this search term. Um, and so how you guys can get your guys' website into this top spot, first one being content. Uh, so then the next one is going to be backlinks. And we'll talk about those in just a sec. Looking at the search results, what I actually found really interesting about this is um, on this first page, all you really have is directory sites. You have Yelp, um, House, Angie's List, Home Advisor, Better Business Bureau. Google really prefers to rank the small business owner over to these directory sites because these are stealing business away from Google and their paid ads, right? People are paying Yelp to have these pages here. And so Google would really much prefer you to be paying them if you're going to be paying anybody. And so they prefer to rank the small business owner over these directory sites. So I actually had to go to the second page to even find anybody, which is huge. It's actually a great thing for you guys um, because it means there's a lot of opportunity for you to make massive leaps and bounds and get your website ranked in a short amount of time because of Google's preference in ranking a small business owner over those directory sites, right? So Dixon Painting is the number one I saw that's an organic actual business and not just directory site. Um, and so we will look at their website real quick. Uh, they do have a little bit more content than you on their homepage, but not a ton. So again, focusing on content is definitely going to set you apart because you want to beat your competition out in every way possible. Okay. When we look at the back end of stuff, what we look at is called backlinks. And a backlink is kind of like um, a high school popularity contest. You had the most popular kid in school and you had the least popular kid, in, the most popular kid in school and the least popular kid in school, right? And the most popular kid is going to link himself to the least popular kid. And when he does that, it brings up the popularity of the least popular kid and makes him look more popular in Google's eyes, right? 
And so that's what you're doing here. You're going out there and you're trying to find backlinks to or sites that you can backlink to to make the popularity of your site come up and make you look more popular in Google's eyes and move you up in the search results. Another big thing with backlinks is relevancy. So if you guys were to go out and get a backlink from another painting company or a you know, website related to painting products, that's going to carry a lot more weight in Google's eyes than if you were to go out and get a backlink to your local Pizza Hut because you guys aren't slinging pizzas, right? And so currently we can see that you guys have 15 different backlinks from nine websites. You guys are currently ranking for 42 keywords and we can actually look and see exactly what those are. Um, so we can see Eagle Painting Company. Um, you guys are sitting at 11th right now. Wallpaper Removal Fresno, it's another great search term you guys could rank for. Um, 40 searches per a month. Cabinet Refinishing Fresno, 50 searches per a month. Uh, but the big one, Painters Fresno right here, 450 searches per a month with very low competition. You guys are currently sitting at 35th. There's a lot of opportunity here for you guys. If you just picked a handful of these and really incorporated them into your content on that homepage, you guys would see a lot of new business coming in for yourselves, okay? Um, looking at Dixon Painting and what they have going on for the back end of their website, we can see they have 109 backlinks from 34 websites. Um, they're currently ranking for 56 keywords and they have organic traffic of 129 coming in. So. There's a lot of opportunity here. These are not impressive numbers by any means, and especially with that full first page being all of these directory sites, there's a lot of opportunity here for you to really grow your business and generate a lot of new leads to really set yourself up for the rest of this winter and going into spring when you guys are going back into your outdoor painting season. So if you have any questions on this, I'd definitely love to talk to you more. Feel free to reach out to me on my cell phone. My number is 541-968-7159. Uh, you can also respond back to this email that I'm going to send along with this video. If that would be easier for you, I'd love to set up a time to talk. Um, if you just want to take this information, run with it, and do it yourself, no harm, no foul, that's totally fine as well. Um, I would totally love some feedback on this video, though, if you did get anything out of it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later.